sa aking pag-iisa Solo pag-umala Google Map ang laging kasama Anim na araw trabaho Biyernes ang labas ko Walang iskribang awiting ito Buhay ko niyang dito sa Hong Kong Sipag at tiyaga puhunan ko Buhay ko niyang dito sa Hong Kong Sipag at tiyaga puhunan ko Hello, anong pangalan mo? Simba Ah? Simba Ay Simba? Lalaki? Opo Wow Ang laki ng balahibo, anong breed to? Ah, gold, 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 gold Ayan, ay pareho sila, wow Grabe ah Let's get to know about this monkey The buff cheek gibbon, pangalan ng unggoy, Hylobates gabriele, yan ang scientific name. Kumakain ng prutas, mga dahon at mga bulaklak. Ganon din ang itlog ng ibon, mga insekto at makikita sa Cambodia. Maliban sa Cambodia, sila ay nakikita sa Laos at Vietnam. They live in small family groups and they comprise a monogamous pair. They have one or two youngsters. And they are extremely agile. Master na master po nila ang pagbiyahe sa mga sanga ng puno at parang may pattern na ginagawa. Ito ay tinatawag na brachiation. Let's welcome the common squirrel monkey, scientific name on screen. Diet is omnivorous. It mainly feeds on insects, birds' eggs, fruits, nuts, seeds, and nectar. Behavior are some of the following. This monkey is small and fragile, live in groups of 10 to 30, can produce different kinds of noise for communications or warnings, distribution, south america thank you so much for watching please leave a big thumbs up and don't forget to write your comments in the comment section i have more videos in my youtube channel please check it out tina's journal ph in youtube six facts about the brazos monkey number one the brazos monkey inhabits a vast stretch of central africa including angola cameroon the central african republic the democratic republic of congo congo equatorial guinea ethiopia gabon kenya south sudan and uganda number two scientific name cercopithecus neglectus number three diet they feed on seeds fruits leaves flowers fungi insects spiders and small reptiles lifespan upwards of 30 years in captivity and around 22 years in the wild Physical characteristics, the females weigh an average of 8.5 pounds, the males average around 15 pounds. Special adaptation, they freeze as a defense mechanism. They have cheek pouches which allow them to store food while foraging and eat it later. My bolsa sa bibig. Please give a big thumbs up. May isa pa po akong nakilala, isang asong napaka cute, alaga ng aming kapitbahay. At... Meron pang ibang mga aso dito. Parang reunion din ng mga cutes. Cutie, cute, cute na aso. Ang gandang pagmastan, di ba? Alam mo ba ang kanilang breed? Pakisulat po sa comment section. Palaban ang maliit na aso. At bago matapos ang ating video, huwag kalimutang mag-like. At i-share na rin sa inyong mga kaibigan. Maraming salamat po sa inyong patuloy na pagsuporta sa akin. Panghuli si Benny, lagi ko siyang nakikita. At matanda na rin po siya. Napagod na rin sa kalalakad. Kasama niya ang kanyang auntie. 
The bird lake is comprised of a large flamingo pond and a small waterfall pond. Both are landscape and support a total of over 130 birds of around four different species, among which the main attraction is the flamingo. You can find this bird lake in Kowloon Park. Flamingos are famous for their bright pink feathers, stilt-like legs, and S-shaped neck. Let me share three interesting facts about flamingo. First, flamingo nests are made of mud. Second, flamingos get their pink color from their food. Third, flamingos are filter feeders and turn their heads upside down to eat. For our vocabulary, a group of flamingo is called a flamboyance. The name flamingo comes from the Portuguese Spanish word flamengo, which translates to flame colored in relation to their vibrant feathers. Flamingo symbolism and meaning include beauty, balance, potential, and romance. Frequently, these meanings emerge from the striking characteristics they have, life balance. Their effortless grace and ability to stand on one leg represent balance and harmony. Entrance to the park is free and is open from 5 a.m. until midnight. Thank you so much for watching. Please like. Welcome to Jardin del Capricho. El Capricho is one of the city's most beautiful and lesser known parks. The 17 hectare garden was designed by John Baptiste Mulo. It is landscaped in 18th century style with formal and naturalistic features. The word capricho in Spanish is swim or caprice. It was created by Maria Josefa Pimentel, Duchess of Osuna, on her estate at Alameda de Osuna, which was then outside the city of Madrid. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up. And you can find more videos in my YouTube channel, Tina's Journal PH. See you there. Hello, my dear friends. Luto tayo ng pork chop ala kunyang style. Unang hakbang ay palupaluin ang karne pagkatapos hugasan para malambot siya pag niluto. So magmarinate tayo, bagyan natin na rice wine. Ay, rice wine? Basta cooking wine. Uy, naparami ako. Put some white pepper. Put some egg. Yan, at sugar. Tila. Hindi mawawala ang light soy sauce. Tansya-tansya lang. All together, mix-mix, halo-haloin. Wala akong nilagay na flour sa marinating ingredient. Kaya pag ipriprito, nasa kasya lang i-coat sa flour or cornstarch kung ano ang meron sa kusina. Fry-fry the meat hanggang sa gusto mong kulay. Ako mas gusto ko yung light brown lang na pagluto sa karne. So, thank you so much for watching. This is Inchik Style na nakita ko rin lang sa Google. Try nyo, masarap siya. Please don't forget to like this video and share it to your friends, lalo na sa mahilig magluto or sa mga gustong mag-aral magluto. Simple lang siya, madaling gawin. Hello Philippines! Introducing another recipe using ampalaya as the main ingredient. Let's watch and learn. Bago lutuin, hugasan muna ang ampalaya at hatiin ito sa kalahati. Alisin ang mga buto para mas maganda ang itsura. Cut according to your desired size. Pwede rin i-cut ulit into four para mas maliit pero mas maganda yung half circle. Maghanda rin ng minced onion and then minced garlic. Tapos i-blanch yung ampalaya. Lagyan to ng asin. Ito yung nabuil nating ampalaya. Meron tayong garlic, meron tayong sibuyas at meron tayong itlog. So let's put the garlic. Lagay din ang onion. We also put the egg. Isang itlog lang. Kasya na yan. Lagyan natin ng pinch of salt. 
too much. Because, and then kiwar kiwar. Mix mix it. Tapos fry. Umpisahan ng pagluluto, lagyan ng kunting mantika, huwag masyadong marami, tapos ihulog ito. Nagbibidyo habang nagluluto, kaya nauna ang itlog. Yan, balik ta rin at ilagay sa pinggan yung kalahati lutuin ulit para hindi sayang. At kapag ready na, balik ta rin. Yan, ispread muna para maganda. And put it in the serving plate. So, ayan. Sana nag-enjoy po kayo sa panonood ng compilation ko ng mga reels na in-upload ko sa aking FB account. Naka-private siya. Ayan, maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood hanggang dulo. God bless us all. See you again next week. Bye-bye. Ingat po tayong lahat.